Now I'm going to be showing you guys how you can add 3D money to your videos with text or lyrics on it super easily inside of After Effects. Let's hop right into this. So we have this Drake music video clip pulled up here. To get started, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here, right click, hit new. We're going to create a new solid. Now you guys can name this whatever you want. I'm going to call it money. Then you're going to hit OK. It doesn't matter what color the solid is because we're going to be going into effects and presets here putting on element 3d we're going to drag and drop element 3d onto our layer right here now once we have element 3d on our layer here you guys can see in the top left we have all these options right here now to get started we're going to go into scene setup here and you want to import your money inside of here i'll leave the 3d model of the money that i use down below for you guys to download for free if you guys want to go ahead and do that now i highly recommend doing it now opening it up you want to turn on use auto normals and if you want, you could put it at the bottom of your scene and then hit OK. Now, once we have our dollar bill inside of here, guys, you want to hit normalize size and then play with the orientation until you get it to your liking. I'm going to mess around with it a bit right here. That is fine there. Now, what we're going to do is open up this right here. We're going to go down to our diffuse here and we're going to change our texture. We're going to go back into that folder there. And we're going to throw on any texture of our choosing. I'm just going to go with the basic 100 USD texture here. Super quick, before we get any more into this video, I have to let you guys know about my editing packs presets. Over on my website, there are a ton of editing packs created by me for creators just like you. We have so many different effects and transitions over there that you guys can use on your projects to level them up instantly. We have everything ranging from fast and wood effects that allows you to add drag and drop shakes, hits, and wipes to your videos super easily. A LUT pack that contains over 285 different LUTs, drag and drop 3D effects that work on every single editing program that require no render time whatsoever, and so many other different unique looks, editing packs, and styles that you guys can use to level up your visuals. If you guys are stuck in an edit or you're just looking to take your videos to that next step for 2024, I highly recommend going over and checking out the site because there's something there for you. But anyways, let's hop right back into this. Now, you want to make sure you play around with the UV offset right here until you get it lined up perfectly. That looks good just like that. And then we're going to hit OK here. And you guys can see we have boom, a dollar bill in here just like this. Now, what you want to do is go into group one here, open up particle look and open up particle replicator. And now we're going to go into rotation here and you guys can rotate this dollar bill just like so, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into position. I'm going to move it to the side here and then move it up like this. And then I'm going to rotate it a little bit like that. I'm just going to play with it and get it to my liking. And then we're going to go into deform here. We're going to turn on twist. We're going to enable that there. So that's a little bit too OD. But I'm going to go ahead and twist that just so it has a little bit of movement. And then you could also add a bend to it as well. You want to keyframe all these as the animation goes on. I'll get into that once I'm done showing you guys how you can get your lyrics and text on it. The very next step is, is you want to open Photoshop here and you want to bring that bill into Photoshop and then write on it. Now, Photoshop has a serious problem with allowing dollar bills inside of their program. I'll show you guys what I mean. So if I go into open here and I find that folder where I had the money, if we open it up, Gonna give us a warning this application does not support the printing of it rank note images it cancel it's annoying but i have a workaround guys i have this psd saved right here that makes it super easy i already have a, a preset text saved in here but when you have the psd you can just open it and it doesn't register it as what it is so what you want to do now is you want to go ahead and write your text so let's say we're going to write drake because this is for drake You want to look for like kind of a handwritten spray font-esque font, very similar to uh, the Goonie one that I just had on the screen. So you can do that by going to your web browser of choice and then just going on to the font. This is the go-to free font website. And then you can just search, do Sharpie. Let's do Holly Sharpie. So we're going to go with this one here and now we're going to go back in, find it. Boom, Holly Sharpie. Looking great. I'm just going to resize it to my liking, just like so. There's a Drake there. Now, what I like to do with these is I really like to go for like the red color, just like this. And then if you guys want as well, you can go inside of here and play with all the different layer styles to get it to your liking. 
I think my favorite one is linear burn. And then what we can also do is go in here and search. Search spray paint textures. Go into images here. All right, we'll go with these ones here. Copy image. Paste it in here. And we'll scale them down just like that. And then we'll go and set them as multiply here. And then what I like to do with these is just duplicate them. So we have two of them. Delete this one from the second one. So what I just did there, guys, is give this one and then this one here. Awesome. And then if we turn the bill back on with it saying Drake. And then move these to wherever we want. So let's say we want to add it right there to add a little bit of extra texture to the bottom of that. And then this one here. Add a little bit of texture to the K, duplicate it, rotate it, and then put it on the E up there. And then don't be afraid to also mess around and make them thinner. Up there on the R, and then we'll go back to the OG one here that we had, and we'll duplicate that. We'll move that in some different places. That looks pretty sick to me, guys. We're going to go ahead and save this and make sure to go ahead and save it as a JPEG and then save it to where you want. So I'm just going to call it Drake. Save. Hit OK. And we're going to go back into After Effects here, go back into our scene setup in the same way we did it before. We're going to go click on this right here, go to Diffuse, and then just click Drake instead of the $100 bill. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And then boom, it'll be replaced just like that. And I think it's really sick once I show you guys how to actually animate the bill and to make it move and to make it look like it's actually in the scene. I think when rappers say certain lyrics, have them on screen with it. I'll show you guys a couple examples of how I did that in some videos. So for this bad baby video here, I actually went ahead and put the, the text on the bills just like you guys saw there. So it's super similar to that. You guys can do it for lyrics. You guys can do it for text. And I also did it for the title sequence of this Goonie video here. So it says Goonie. Super clean. So to go ahead and animate this, what you guys want to do is you want to go to your position here. And since it's in the sky, you want to have it fall down. We're going to go to the very end of our clip right here. And then we're going to bring it down. So as it goes, you guys can see it falls down just like that. And then what we want to do as well is since we already set all these deforms here, we're actually going to keyframe the ones that we did move. So we have them keyframed at the very beginning. Actually, let me reset that. So they're keyframed at the very beginning. And as they get to the end, let's take them in the opposite direction. So we'll bring this one forward. Like that. Bring this one forward too. You guys can already see some animation there. And then we'll do it with the rotation as well. We'll keyframe all of these and then we'll go to the very end. We'll bring it to the side. Do it like that. And then like that. That doesn't look bad there, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and rotate it like that. And then make it fall a little bit more. That's not bad there, but the way this works is this is so like zoomed in in the frame. It's not actually accurate to what your eye would see and what the blurring would do. So we're going to resize this a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and search up blur. We're going to drag and drop on camera lens blur on both of these here. And we're going to turn off the camera lens blur on Drake here and just focus on the one of the money at the very beginning. Let's close element for now. So let's bring this to something like 10 and see how it looks. Probably maybe 15 here. Uh, actually 25 wow 15 go for 12 here so what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe 12 at the very beginning and then once we get to 11 right here what we're going to do is we're going to click on the drake one and we're going to turn it back on and we're going to make sure it's at zero at the beginning so i'm going to go ahead and fix that by having that zero and then once it gets to 11f right here we're going to have that go out of focus to about like minutes before 12 
and we'll have the bill go into focus not fully in focus it looks kind of weird so we'll do like one or something or just three look two That just adds so much more realism to it, as you guys could see. Not in focus, and then it switches focus, the bill's in focus, and Drake's out of focus. Anyways, uh, that is pretty much the tutorial. Go crazy with this, customize this to your liking. I have a couple other tutorials as well that teach you guys how to track. I believe that was my last upload. So if you do want to track these to your moving scenes, I recommend watching that video. I'll have it linked right here for you guys to watch. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, leave a like. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.